so I diary it's uh, nearly morning and uh, yeah I've just come straight here from just a morning workout and it doesn't actually look good they say is the sad beat about farming I can assure you for the first 23 days everything looked perfect the growth rate was amazing the records i could check they were coming along well and bait i have been away from the farm i was only coming in for maybe uh, three or four days a week because um i've had other plans uh, and again also looking for market within mombasa kilifi as well as uh, I gear up to the production of our new brand for animal feeds, that's Africama. And every time I could come in, I could see uh, everything was, you know, coming along well. Every check's checked out. And uh, until now, uh, two days ago, I got a call and I was told, um, we have a very sad uh, scenario. Here at the farm, and uh, for that particular day, which again was day 28, they picked more than eight dead broiler uh, chicken. Uh, for me, this is the first time we can say we've had uh, such kind of a high mortality rate. It has never happened. Uh, the, the last time, I think, was uh, sometime last year, whereby again this was caused by what we call as a uh, heat wave. Uh, but now, um, this particular day, it was a combination of not just heat wave. And albeit I knew, I told them to check the temperature, again, they were more than 40 degrees Celsius. But then they were uh, prevalent. Uh, prevalent condition and when I came in I think it was almost 7 p.m. I started to investigate and uh, yeah that's when I realized yeah the prevalent condition was there and upon uh, just checking out uh, for example checking out the uh, waste uh, checking up also the way they were behaving some of the birds they couldn't literally walk and then, since it was also in the evening, you could hear them uh, sneezing. So what I did again, uh, I usually say, I work closely with a number of uh, vets. These are qualified individuals, so I'll bait I know in and out of uh, railing. I also need a professional guidance. So was just to take a pictures uh, of animal, a video recording how they are behaving, as well as the waste. And uh, they were actually diagnosed with a uh, mild Newcastle. And uh, yeah, to salvage the situation, um, the vet recommended uh, for uh, a certain, uh, we wouldn't call it a vaccine, uh, rec recommended a med which we administered for at least four days. And this was going to help at least to, um, at least to possibly stop the spread of Newcastle. But unfortunately, we had those birds which again, they were past the mild level. They were at almost terminal level. And it's weird that they were not uh, noticed. That's why we say in railing of the chicken is not just about uh, feeding them. 
It's not just about giving them the water. It's not just about the litter in like the previous video we talked. It's more than that. It's more of observation. The small sign, I'd say they really matter. Um, I'll be it, I'm sad. I can say I'm also happy that uh, it's not literally severe because uh, I think so far we have waste, uh, lost uh, I think those eight birds for those days. We lost I think another two birds the day before yesterday and three birds last evening. So that brings a total of uh, 15 birds so far. Uh, but now you can be able to see uh, this morning I have picked almost how many birds? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I've picked another eight birds, and I can assure you, this one you cannot actually even sell because um, their weight is not the market. And again, you cannot even now at this level even administer the med because of the withdrawal time. So we are hitting almost day 32. We are supposed to be going for market. So what happened is when Newcastle comes in, it actually stops the faster growth rate of your animals and they tend to take way much longer than expected. And I don't know, like I had already secured an order for almost 250 bucks and they were supposed to be 1.7. Uh, live weight and 1.3 dead weight and I'm not even sure if tomorrow we'll be hitting uh, obviously that weight and this is a dire case because in farming if you don't hit those kind of weight from at least day 30 uh, it doesn't look good I can assure you but uh, yeah that's what happens sometimes farming is not just on the end of the profit at this particular lot, I'll be happy just to salvage uh, the initial working capital for them. And even if I don't make a dime on the profit, I'll be happy with that. But now, another issue comes up. That's why, again, I think it's recommended not to have uh, your birds on the same room. I have this other birds which are 14 days old on this uh, other back here. But I'm happy those ones have not been affected. They have been properly vaccinated. But again, it's a huge risk. And I hope in next year, uh, this is also a mistake we shouldn't be able to do. I'll be able to have enough working capital and eventually be able to build another structures so that we can only house one particular batch in a different uh, house. This means if there is an issue of disease outbreak we can be able to deal with it with no risk of um, infecting the other birds and this is another case um, we are going for a december holiday and if this is the case with uh, these particular birds uh, you're also scared of the house because i know it's supposed to be washed and it's supposed to be abandoned at least for two weeks and this is a, a huge part. If you abandon for two weeks, then it means you will not go for December market, which ideally is one of the biggest markets here in the coastal region. So as an entrepreneur, you are worried. You are like, do you risk it or should you risk it? Now, what do you think? Let me know in the uh, comment section uh, below. Would you risk it and say you wash it maybe two days and then hope for the best? Or should you wait for two, three weeks and then you missed one of the biggest sales for Christmas? <laughs>
Now imagine uh, for a single bud, we usually sell, this is almost a 1.65, 1.7 bud, 1.7 kg. We usually uh, retail it at uh, almost 450 shillings. Now imagine for every bud that dies, I'm losing 450 shillings. But now that is on uh, the selling side. But if you were to do the calculations for the cost of rearing this bud, I usually rear between uh, 345 shillings to 370 shillings at maximum. So you can imagine for every dead bud, I'm losing 370 shillings. That's a lot of money. And I can tell you, I mean, wow. It have never happened, but uh, it is what it is. So if you are thinking of going into poultry farming, sometimes, trust me, you can do everything right. You can follow all the biosecurity procedures. And even in most cases, you can even follow uh, proper vaccination processes. You can even do proper litter management. But then, when such a risk occurs, man it's a it's a it's a different case uh, it's a very sad one i mean looking seeing your buds uh, and this was also one i want you guys to see uh, it has also affect the rate of the growth my buds are usually fast growing like uh, we were just measuring and we are just discovering we have a lot of 1.65 and these bugs should be at least 1.7 kg at day 32. And you wonder, uh, hey, what's going on? It's, it's serious. And uh, we can only hope that this can be uh, arrested. So uh, now if you had such cases in your farm, I would say the best thing is try to talk to your vet. Also, uh, the vet will be in a better position to give you a uh, proper medication and sometimes I say don't rely on internet medication and I would say this is what has actually uh, helped us to at least uh, arrest uh, this because I know I know I've visited farms whereby they have had severe cases of even losing close to a hundred bars 200 300 and I'm saying this in in full confidence so i'm happy that i was able uh or rather to be alerted of this and uh yeah i think in the future or when we are going to construct another uh building we need to improve uh from thing because the roof itself it's uh it's quite low uh and also you can observe uh on the sideways uh, the, and this has always been an issue we've always raised. Uh, we can see that uh, the side, uh, the side wall, they are a little bit higher, is almost two feet, and they should at least be around maybe possibly one. So uh, it's either I'm thinking possibly it's either we reduce it by a half. Or leave when we are constructing it, we have, uh, instead of using iron sheetings on the side, we can have maybe wood or even just one layer of um, of the stones. And uh, possibly this can be able to have more of a cooler effect. And then uh, all across the coop, we can use just uh, me uh, mesh wire as well as uh, chain links to ensure there is a smooth airflow across uh, the coop. Because even right now, you'll be able to observe most of the birds, they are going towards the side, whereby they want to feel that kind of uh, cool air. And uh, when it gets in the afternoon, it's much, 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 much uh, critical for most of these uh, birds. That is it. Um, I'll keep you posted. I'll keep you updated and yeah it's it's quite a sad day trust me uh, it's one it's not one of those you are like hey guys uh we have an amazing i mean vlog we have hit a record time nope 
it's a sad tale we have experienced uh, or rather uh, this threat of uh, Newcastle disease and trust me uh, if you combine Newcastle disease and uh, heat wave combined that is such a deadly combo and as a farmer it puts you on uh, life support even right now if I see any phone call from uh, the farm help if I'm not at their office I'm expecting bad news and trust me you don't want that you want the good news whereby you are being told uh, the guys are here the the weights have been hit I mean the chickens are doing amazing but that's part of farming when I got into it trust me I expected some of this risk and uh, but then sometimes you don't know when it happens how you will can react to it. So until next time, uh, this is a uh, Afri farmer. But before you go, there's an amazing video for you uh, right here. Click it, watch it, and let me know what you think in uh, the comment section uh, below. Until next time, this is Afri farmer. Bye bye.